everyone, I'm Maddie. I'm Greg. And welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to jump right in because we're talking about grasshoppers. Did you know that grasshoppers, they make that chirping sound by rubbing their back leg against their front wing? It's called stridulation, by the way. <laughs> but that's not what this film is about. Today we want to find out what makes grasshoppers such amazing jumpers. He's off. If a grasshopper was the same size as me, it would be able to jump over the museum's roof and make it across a full-size football field in three jumps. So how does a grasshopper jump so high? We're going in there to find out. We're at the Robot Zoo in the Horniman Museum in London and this giant robotic grasshopper is going to help us answer this curious question. Alright Mads, introduce us to him. Right, okay, so take a look at this. A grasshopper has six legs, two wings and small pincers that help it to tear its food, things like leaves and grass. But there's also something really cool about a grasshopper. Now, unlike us humans who have our skeleton, that's our bones, inside our bodies, a grasshopper, because it's an insect, has its bones on the outside of its body. It's called an exoskeleton, and all of its organs and muscles are inside that exoskeleton. But let's take a look at the body parts that it really needs for jumping. Can you see how long this back leg is compared to this front leg? In fact, the back leg is about twice as long as this little front leg. And it's made up of different sections. We call this top part of the leg the femur, the bottom part of the leg the tibia, and the foot is called the foot. And it has strong claws to make sure it can grip onto the ground. To jump really high, a grasshopper does three things. Now, first of all, this here is our grasshopper leg. Sure. Okay? <laughs> right. So first, the grasshopper will tuck its leg so that the tibia, the lower part of the leg, is flat against the ground. Then it pauses, and then it pushes the lower leg, the tibia, off the ground, which fires the grasshopper into the air. But all that takes some serious muscle power. Inside the top part of the grasshopper's leg, inside that femur, if you looked underneath the exoskeleton, you'd see two really strong muscles and they work together to move the leg. And what they can do is they can pull that tibia up. And when it's like this, it's actually squashing a spring which suddenly releases, a bit like a catapult, and fires the grasshopper up into the sky. It is such a cool system. So that is how a grasshopper jumps. Yep. Now make sure you subscribe for more videos just like this and click that bell to get notified every time we post a new video. And if you want to see another curious question answered from here at the Robot Zoo, click on the rhino. <laughs> Stay curious and we'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye.